Hello and welcome from Caravan Salon 2021. The event is now about to close, although there's still quite a few people in here. We've got about uh, an hour and then it's chucking out time. As you can see, uh, there's not so many people here now, but there were stacks of people here earlier. A huge amount of people for today, and that was uh, quite unexpected considering tickets could only be bought online. And a number of people wrote to me asking me if I could arrange to get tickets for them. Uh, what you need to do in the future, reference, and uh, not just this event, but anything like this, you want to get tickets right to an exhibitor. Exhibitors are normally supplied with tickets and if you're a potential buyer, you're probably getting for nothing. And if you just want to get tickets, then uh, they will charge you whatever they had to pay. But I think they just pay the same as everybody else anyway. So you'll, so you'll get tickets like that. Uh, this has been, I think, obviously it's been a far more successful show than uh, last year's show uh, because uh, far more people here, uh, far more exhibitors here, uh, but really it's well down on 2019. And I think that is to be expected. The biggest single visitor who wasn't here was Heimer, and because it's not just Heimer brand, it's the entire Heimer group who've now announced that they'll be doing an event once every other year. Um, for me, the uh, single biggest star, I'd have to say, uh, is a Mercedes um, conversion, van conversion, costs 200,000 euros. So you'll probably think, well, I'll have two in that case, uh, from a company called, uh, what, Alpha, Al what's the name of the company? The Al Al Alpha car, Alpha van, that's it. And um, I thought that was pretty good. There's another Mercedes uh, stretch camper, uh, which I thought is particularly attractive. Um, and there's a company called uh, Fergoc, which comes from Spain, Pamplona. We've got these rather incredible ways of saving space in the vehicle. So anyway, I shall be having videos on all of these things as and when the time comes. I'd hope to do live um, uh, broadcasts well, uh, every day. Well, I started off doing three a day, and then I had problems with my um, YouTube app and so I wasn't able to do it anymore, which was, in my opinion, a great pity. But anyway, uh, never mind. I'll be able to I'd use the time wisely, and I uh, filmed quite a lot of stuff in the <laughs> in the in the meantime. So I've tried uh, doing uh, videos with a normal style, of sort of about eight to ten minutes, that type of thing. And I've tried doing some three minute ones where I get to the point really quickly and then move on. Uh, this was actually based on the idea that YouTube came up with these YouTube shorts where, uh, shot in one minute. And in one minute I could get 140 words out if I spoke really quickly or got the dog to speak quickly. But uh, it's, not, it's, not the sa it's not the same. So I've tried doing this now three minute ones, see how well they work and if they... Uh, don't work, nobody wants them. No, I'll stop doing them. Anyway, so my plans from here are to go from here. I'm going to um, going down the Rhine. I'm going to drive down the Rhine. Uh, first stop is a place called Remagen, or Bad Godesburg, then Remagen. Then I'm going to Bingen, which is near Frankfurt, then Mainz, uh, or Sprenlingen. Uh, then I'll be in Frankfurt. Uh, then I'm going to be in the region of Stuttgart. I'm heading towards. Uh, Wehrheimer, Bad Waldsee, Aulendorf, where is Cartago. Uh, then I'm going to Isni in Algoy, Wangen in Algoy. And then I'm not terribly certain what I'm going to do. I'm going to do Bad Tolz via Landsberg. Um, then to Sulzemos uh, near Dachau. And then I'm going to head north towards Bad Kissingen. That is a uh, two month, or not so much two months, it's a six week journey. And from there I'll be, I'll be hanging around in a northern Bavaria for a couple of months, a couple of weeks. And from there, it'll be um, Jena and then uh, Görlitz, Zgorzelec, Wrocław, and a place called Rybnik in Poland. So that's the next uh, couple of months. In fact, it's more than a couple of months, three months uh, where I am going. So um, that will give me a chance to see a, a number of uh, vehicles. Right. 
what a wonderful uh, <laughs> summer day here. It's about 25 degrees, absolutely uh, wonderful. It's a pity it hadn't been like this in the beginning of the week, but never mind, because most of the time I was in the halls anyway, so I didn't, didn't, I didn't get out. This is the worst weather I've had at uh, all the times I've been to Dusseldorf, but not now, because this is what it's normally like. But at the beginning of last week, oh, it, was, it was pouring down. Anyway, so this is Dusseldorf. And I'll just turn the camera around, not seeing of it. See, these halls full of motorhomes, equipment down the bottom, these ones here full of motorhomes. Up there as well, full of motorhomes. This is the largest motorhome fair in the world. And I don't know how many vehicles there were here, but there really were quite a lot. Anyway, let's go back in the hall now and I'll see if I can do film some cabbie vans. Thanks for watching.